dream. But I just went back in and, and watched the tape, saw some of my teammates who were in today, and saw the coaches, got to talk to them about the game. So um, those are some things that help, help clear your mind a little bit, is just talking about it and what happened and some of the things we can get better at. So those are the types of things that, that we uh, talk about, you know, the day after. And, uh, again, you just we try our best just to learn from the mistakes that we made and uh, do our best to, to make them not happen again. Was it more mental or physical last night? Uh, mental. Mental. Uh, it was mostly mental, and, and that's, the, that's the tough part about it is, you uh, for me, I... I, I Pride myself on not making a ton of physical mistakes. Um, there were physical mistakes as well um, on one of the interceptions on the one in the end zone. Uh, I just I was I wasn't using my feet at all. My base wasn't set, and I just kind of flicked it out there to DT, hoping uh, hoping something magical would happen. And rather than trusting my fundamentals and, and set my feet to them, so. Um, but again, it was it was mostly mental. Um, it was stuff we practiced um, throughout the week and. Um, you know, like I said, that we did well in the Dallas game, taking practice to, to Sunday. Um, we didn't take practice uh, to Monday, and I didn't do it. And, um, our whole our whole offense, as far as I know, didn't do it. And, um, you know, that's that's something that, again, like I said, we pride ourselves on not making mental mistakes, and we did a lot of that last night. It, it seems like you for, you obviously did not have a lot of time last night, um, and it also seemed like you were more apt to get the ball out of your hands than take a sack. Any part of you right now coming off the whole spleen and mono thing averse to taking a big hit? No, not at all. That wasn't that wasn't uh, that didn't cross my mind at all. And, um, I think more so there were just bad decisions. Sam, will you, uh, for lack of a better word? Are you embarrassed that the I'm seeing ghosting made the air? I know that your coach is kind of angry at the NFL and the people that let that get through, but since it did get through, are you embarrassed that that was a national thing? Um, I'm not embarrassed by it. Um, it, it would have been you know, nice if it hadn't made the air, uh, but with that being said, it's just it's something that happened, and now i got to address it, and it. It's kind of one of those things that it is what it is. What does it mean? It means for me, yeah, it's uh, it really meant that I just wasn't seeing things as clearly as I mm -hmm. as I would have liked to, right. and that's really that's really as simply as I can put it. Is it a, is it because obviously you you've gotten a firsthand lesson now, and you've already gotten it from the mono thing of what the back pages of the tabloids are like in New York and how big a deal it was right away. That phrase I'm seeing ghosts out there. Everyone's making a huge deal about it. Is it terminology you've used or heard before, and is just sort of a way of describing a chaotic scene defensively? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's something that. You know, when a quarterback isn't really seeing things great, uh, that's that's a term that gets thrown around quite a bit. And obviously, it, it's, uh, you know, hopefully not thrown around as much as you would like. Um, but it was definitely, you know, at a, at a part in the game, at a very, you know, just a slim portion of the game for maybe a series or two, it was the case. And... They obviously caught me saying it on air, and and they uh, they played it for everyone. And I'm not embarrassed by it. I mean, it is what it is. Um, so you know, worse things have, have happened to me. Uh, but at the same time, it's it's just uh, yeah, it's just a bummer that it that it was live and all that. But um, I think it's it's a lot more common. Uh, it's a lot more common of a phrase than. Made well, up. well, you're being nice because if it was it was live, it's you can explain away that it was live, but it was actually it was actually taped, and then they decided to play it. So you got burned on this, Sam. In the future, will you resist being mic'd up? Um, no, no. I think for me, I'm I'm always, and I think I've just always been kind of a guy that you know I I uh, I hold things close to my chest. I don't. I don't, uh, I don't hold a grudge or anything like that. I mean, um, is it embarrassing? Uh, not really. I mean, for me, it's, it's more of, you know, what do, what do my friends and family think about it? You know, it's not, I'm not going to listen to my comments or anything like that on social media or 
or um, looking at any of the news reports. You know, I'm not, I'm not that kind of guy. So for me, it's just about going back in there tomorrow, uh, stepping back in the huddle and being the same quarterback. Do you believe the coaches put you in the best uh, preparation to win that game last night? Um, yeah, you know, I, I think that, you know, the game plan, we're, we're set to win. And, um, you know, it's, it's a bummer, too, because we just, we just didn't execute. Um, I could have executed the plays a lot better. And, you know, as an offense, we could have done a lot better. And we will do better in the future, that's for sure. And there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of bad stuff that we put on tape last night. Um, but at the same time, you know, we just got to take it in and learn from it. That's all we can do. Did you guys have a, a bad game last night, or are the Patriots just so much better than everybody else? Because, I mean, you guys beat the Cowboys, and the Cowboys destroyed the Eagles, and then, I mean, th it was 33 to nothing. So what is it? Did you guys have a bad game, or are the Patriots just this darn good? Well, we had a, we had a bad game, that's for sure. Um, it was probably one of, if not the worst, games of our season so far. Um, but... You know, I definitely, you know, want to give credit where credit's due. I mean, the Patriots are a really good team. That's a really, really good defense. Um, coached by one of the best coaches um, in the NFL's history. So, you got to give credit where credit's due, but we definitely didn't play our best out there. Now, you just mentioned you try not to pay attention to the media or, you know, social media or anything, but do you believe that yourself or, or some of your teammates maybe got a little too positive over the Cowboy victory, maybe believed in yourselves a little bit too much coming off that victory? No, I think, um, you know, for us, we got to we gotta enjoy the wins when they come, um, and hopefully that'll just kind of steer us in the right direction. I think there's definitely, you know, we, we have to stay level. Um, you know, we got to stay level, whether it's a win or a loss. We got to come in here and work the same way we would every single day. And because that's the crazy thing about the NFL is, you know, you win, you win in a really good fashion one week, and then the other week you get blown out and embarrassed on on Monday Night Football. So that's that's how the NFL is. Um, and so for us, we just got to come into work every single week um, as if it's a new week. I'm talk, talking with Sam Darnold here on the Michael K Show. Earlier today, Sam, Lewis Riddick of ESPN tweeted out about zero blitzing. I'm not going to get into the whole tweet. And then he finishes up, uh, this stuff isn't new. It's just a matter of whether or not you have a plan for it and a quarterback that is equipped to execute against it. Okay, that's somewhat benign. And then Jamal Adams, your teammate, liked it, which means he's either liking that you don't have a plan for it or that you can't handle it. Well, what are your thoughts on a teammate of yours liking a tweet like that? I mean, yeah, this is, the, this is the first time I'm hearing about it, but, um, yeah, I think it's true. You know, it's, it's something that, you know, um, we definitely had a plan for. Obviously, just didn't execute it. Um, and it's I put that on myself. And, obviously, we just got to execute better. That's really it. Um, I'm not going to get into the whole, you know, Jamal liking Lewis Riddick's tweet. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how far that goes or, you know, what what all goes into that, but um, I think it's um, I think it's it's true, though. I think it's, you know, that the Patriots are going to bring zero blitz, and you got to have a plan for it, um, and we did. Uh, I just didn't execute it. Do you have any problems with Jamal? You guys get along? Yeah, me and Jamal go along great. Um, yeah, I have no problem with him. You know, one one final thing, Sam, and you're being so gracious answering these questions, which are not easy to ask, but after a game like last night, do you ever start to doubt yourself? Maybe I'm not just ready at this point to be a, a really good quarterback in this league. Does that go into your brain at all? No, not at all. Um, you know, that game, is it's just a, it's a learning lesson. Um, it's a lesson to be learned. That's how I look at it. Um, I played. I played terrible. You know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Um, everyone saw it. Everyone saw what happened. Um, as an offense, we got to get better, and we'll continue to get better every single week. Um, again, credit. You know, got to give credit where credit's due. Uh, Patriots are a really good defense, really good team, but we got to play a lot better. And uh, you know, it's as simple as that. At, at the end of the first half, it's 24 nothing. And uh, they again mic'd up. They showed uh, you talking to Coach Gase, who said, "Hey, it's it's 24 nothing. 
let's let's take our time here. We get the ball back to start the, the second half. And I, I, I've, I believed in that moment. I said, get a score right here. Score again at the beginning of the third quarter. Make this thing 24-14. At that point, did you believe that you guys could still claw your way back in? And at what point did, you, did the wheels fall off and you, you started to lose hope of it? No, I absolutely believe that we could claw our way back. Um, it's not the situation that we wanted to be in, but, you know, with, with uh, you know, uh, with kicking the opening, with kicking the opening kickoff and knowing that we would get the ball back at half, um, we knew that if we just went down there, scored in a two-minute drive, and then our defense helped us stop, and, you know, there was hopefully not enough time for the Patriots to go down there and score a kick a field goal. Obviously, we'd be down 24-7, go back out there, score a quick touchdown, 24-14, anything's possible at that point, down 10. Um, so, yeah, you know, you can you can make quick turnarounds in this league, and especially with the halftime swing, and that was definitely possible for us to do. Um, and, you know, in this league, and when you're down that big it, it, in the first half, you always got to, you always got to keep, keep plugging. Uh keep going and we were trying to do that and just again like I said like I've been saying we just we just didn't execute last night was your 16th National Football League game that's that's one full regular season uh, how would you evaluate how your first 16 games have gone um, not enough wins uh, you know I've had some good games but just haven't won enough and you know we just got to continue to execute better i mean it's it's the same story guys we just got to execute better on offense and um it really comes down to you know preparing throughout the week and making sure that everyone's on the same page and i think if we just do that we'll be all right you're a good guy sam thank you for answering the questions and good luck this weekend all right thanks guys Hi.